A woman holds a tube of lipstick 9.2 centimeters from a spherical mirror and notices that the image of the tube is inverted and one-third its normal size. A. Determine the position of the image. Is it in front of or behind the mirror? Use a negative number below to indicate the image is behind the mirror. B. Calculate the focal length of the mirror. So the first thing we want to do is define uh, the change in height. So the, the height of the object, it says the height of the image is equal to one-third the height of the object. So I have an object. If I multiply that height by one-third, I should get the height of the image. So if I use my magnification equation, which is h prime over h, I can replace h prime with one-third h. So that's what I'll do. One-third h over h is equal to m. And essentially the h's cancel out and I get that m is equal to one-third or 0 0.33 repeating. Now it tells us that she sticks the lipstick in front of the mirror 9.2 centimeters so we know the value for p. So let's go ahead and, and say that p is equal to 9.2 centimeters and then let's try to figure out what Q is. It wants to know the object's placement and the focal length. So uh, we can use the mirror, or actually we can use the, um, the magnification equation, M is equal to H prime over H, which geometrically we can say is equal to negative Q over P. Now one more thing about magnification. We said that it's one-third, but if you go back and look here, it says that the object is inverted. So when it's inverted, that means that the magnification is going to be negative. And so when you plug in your magnification, you want to make it negative one-third. And uh, you can actually start off by, by making that a negative one-third if you wanted to uh, do it the correct way algebraically. And so I can, I can now come here and I know what my m is and I want to solve for q. So m times p, m times the magnification times the object placement is equal to negative q, and I just multiply by negative 1, so negative m p equals q. So in my particular situation, I have, for m, I have, uh, so I want negative, and I want to plug in m, m is negative 0 0.33, repeating, and p, and that's multiplied by p, is 9.2. And so that should equal Q. Well, I have a negative times a negative. That's going to give me a positive. Q is equal to positive 3.0667. And since Q is positive, it means it's a real image and it's in front of the mirror. Uh, so essentially, it's not behind the plane of the mirror. Um, then the second thing it wants to know is the focal length. So we can start off with the mirror equation, 1 over P e, uh, plus 1 over Q equals 2 over r. But we can also use the term 2 over r. We don't know what the radius is, so in order to find it, uh, what we can do is we can say, or we can find the radius, but that's actually a shortcut to the, to the focal point, because the focal point is equal to uh, the radius divided by 2, or 1 half the radius. So in, in a mirror, if I have a radius right here, exactly halfway between is the focal point. So r is equal to 2 times the focal point, and so I can just replace this right here. And what you get is 1 over p plus 1 over q equals 2 over 2f, and the 2 cancels out, so it's equal to 1 over f. Now to find the focal point, i got to take the inverse of both sides. I'm going to find a common denominator before I do that, so I'm going to have pq, so I have q over pq, plus p. And uh, if you don't know how I did that, go back to the first video and re-watch that because I do the exact same thing but in, in a bunch of steps. And that's equal to 1 over f. And then I can take the inverse, so I'll get pq over q plus p equals f. With my numbers, I get that f is equal to 2.3 centimeters. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my blog. The link is down in the About section of this video. And on the blog, you'll find cool stuff like other videos for the same chapter. And you'll also find uh, little download links where you can download calculators to uh, basically just punch in your numbers and solve these exact problems. So you won't even have to watch the video if you don't want to.
The last thing I want to say is if you leave comments on YouTube, of course I will get around to responding, but I'm much faster if you leave them at the bottom of my blog, right down there. Enjoy your day.